Hello and welcome to Kerbal Swiss Ram 1.1. This is a stock, well, not quite stock jet because it is using BD Armory weapons, but it's close to stock and for some reason steering is enabled on the rear landing gear. Don't know why, but I also need to change some settings on here because apparently the suspension is what's been freaking screwing up my ability to launch with this. I've actually tried launching with this several times with several problems and, uh, yeah, apparently that might help. I don't know. I don't know yet. I have to try it, but um, that should be able to help quite a bit. I'm also going to add quite severe air braking onto it, and that air braking is unfortunately going to be in front of the center of lift and center of mass, so that might lead to some issues, but I do want the massive air braking for a very good reason, as you'll see shortly. All right, so here we are on the runway, and it is wobbling, even though I disabled suspension. Yay! Yeah, this is the exact same problem I had, excuse me, with it when before I did that. But it got better once I disabled suspension, but as you can see now that I'm out here, it's uh, still there. Yeah, for some reason, well, it is a pre-release, but um, I think the one thing that's not going to change, like, pre-release means that there are going to be some problems. Of course there are, there always are, but one thing that's not going to change is the fact that the stock landing gear still suck. That's unfortunate. Also, I have to say, unfortunately, the description part of the KSP stuff now is kind of sucky. That that kind of sucks. Oh yeah, I have Kerbinside installed also, since there's a 1.1 pre-release version of that. And that noise is still way too loud, but in any case, let's go ahead and take off with this. Yeah, see, the landing gear, even though I have suspension disabled, are very suspension-y. And that's causing... oh dear all sorts of problems although in that particular case the uh, the explosiveness was uh, my own fault really ooh nice nice bounce I found another sound that doesn't um, properly listen to game sounds yay so if you somehow got on this video by mistake and didn't know what I was doing, this is essentially the landing deck of a carrier. It doesn't work the rest of the way, and part of that is that I can't really continue work on it because the editor does not let me go to the extremities of the vessel. But, in any case, we're going to save edit this over into the ocean. Oh, that's, uh, that's high. Oh, dear. Well, that's going to be fun to watch. Oh, it survived! perfectly intact. I am perfectly happy with that. Here's where I realized that I forgot to turn off the reaction wheels on this, but oh well, I don't care. And also, where the fun begins. So now you can see, 7.6 kilometers away, we have AC Whip 6, which is that aircraft carrier platform, just sitting out in the water waiting for a jet to come try to land on it. And there we go, we're in the air. Alright, so we can turn that off. And as soon as it comes into range, time should slow down. Which time's already slowing down, so it might have already loaded in, might not. I don't think it has at this distance, but uh, maybe it has. In any case, I'm going to go ahead and throttle down because we're definitely going to want to be going slower once we get there. And I'm going to hit F4 and go into the cockpit because, dear God, that's uh, that's wrong. That's just a little bit wrong. Alright. Oh dear, my mouse is messing up quite badly. That's... That's a problem. I mean, as well as the graphical glitches. That's a problem. Yeah, I'm gonna uninstall Scatterer after this. Uh, part of it is uh, performance. It doesn't... My computer doesn't like it. Part of it is that... Uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Part of it is that... Something something words. I can't think of the words right now. It's it's early in the morning, okay? That's that's my defense. But in any case, I'm gonna go ahead and I can't quite tell what angle we're coming at it on. We should be coming fairly straightforward, but then again I'm not sure. We might um it might have turned. I'm not sure exactly, because I'm uh I'm not so good with the save editing. I haven't done that in a while. Uh, looks pretty straight on to me though, so yeah, I think we'll go ahead and uh, enable the air brakes because we're going to need to slow down quite a bit. I'm going to have 12 because I'm curious how effective they are. Seems pretty effective to me. Alright, so, coming down, 
Still going way too fast. That's the problem. We're going way too fast. And going way too fast. Oh yes, let's... No, let's not ditch the weaponry right now. I was going to say, let's ditch the weaponry to uh, increase our chances of uh, landing successfully. But, um, no, I think I'll leave the weaponry on for now. Alright, falling a bit too low. Well, not too low per se, but um, we need to know where the deck is, actually, because I don't know where the deck is, and that's a problem. Alright, coming down. Looks like the deck is at about 4 meters to this jet. And uh, unfortunately, I'm gonna skid right off the end of it. Yes. But, I don't think we damaged it. Let me see. Switch to it. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's damaged at all. Yeah, so we can definitely not have to worry too much about damaging it. So yes, as you might have noticed, it's primarily made out of these Mark III liquid fuselage, liquid fuel fuselage long pieces and then a couple of other pieces to kind of style it a bit at the back and the front. And uh, obviously it needs a lot more to be a proper carrier. Also, I just noticed it's 6.50, 6.50 a.m. It's that early in the morning. Wow, I, I thought it was later. I thought it was later in the day, so I'm surprised. All right, so we need to get down to 60 meters per second when we get to the carrier. So what I'm going to do is, first of all, I'm not even going to go that fast to begin with. Second of all, we're going to drop the extra weights in the form of these missiles. Oh yes, and, and the guns. I'm going to go ahead and fire off all the guns. Unfortunately, this means it's going to take us a little bit longer to get out there, but uh, it should be worth it. Alright, there we go. I'm sure the chaff and flares have a little bit of weight to them, so we're going to go ahead and empty those as well. Landing on a posted stamp in an ocean. That's what we're going to do. Well, not exactly a carrier landing, but we did land intact. Now obviously we're coming in way too fast this time, but uh, I figured we'll do a little like uh, touch and go, or uh, or crash, or crash, one of the two. We're not really sure at this moment, but oops, that was a bit pulling up too much. Yep, see, we're not dropping fast enough. Oh well, nope, there we go. See, there's the touch, now there's the go. Oh dear. Okay, okay, everything's fine. Okay, let's uh, keep the throttle low. All right, let's keep the gear out. Let's throw up just a little bit because we did lose control a bit when flying this low before, this slow before. Yeah, see, we're falling quite a bit. And that is a problem. All right. We do want to be low overall, though, so... Yeah, let's try and get our... Uh, camera locked on the actual heading we're going. This is close enough for me. Alright, so essentially we're going to want to head back that way a bit and then turn around. Alright, uh, landing gear, nope, okay, we have everything set up the way we want except the air brakes. Let's go ahead and turn them on. No, let's not yet. And actually this time I'm going to do that by holding down the button rather than uh, rather than using the uh, button up top and uh, hopefully things go better we'll see we'll see uh, I'm just thinking if there's anything else I want to do I might want to disable the gimbal on the engine maybe I don't think so not right now at least alright let's go ahead and turn this now we're gonna lose a lot of speed doing this turn especially because it's gonna be a high angle of attack turn so this turn on its own might be too much for the plane yeah we're losing speed quite badly all right but but even so we're basically drifting in a plane at this point but we're maintaining uh oh dear and i've uh, landed in the ocean again 
<laughs> I'm too good at landing in the ocean. Ah. Uh, yeah. Now we have a submarine plane. So since I have all these weapons, and I'm doing so bad at trying to land, I thought, why not try something else entirely? Let's go ahead and attack the carrier with guns first to see how well the armor on the carrier, or lack thereof, let's just pretend it's armored, uh, see how well that will protect it, and uh, we'll go from there. Technically, if we tried to shoot at it now, our bullets would reach it, but I don't know if they'd be very effective or uh, if we'd be able to see the damage at all. That said, I'm going to go ahead and spray a few rounds in its general direction. We'll see uh, if we see any of those. See, the reason I say that is apparently the bullets will go to 5 kilometers before the game deletes them. And it looks like we overshot with those. So uh, either that or they've disappeared and they haven't hit the target yet. Um, I would say they should have hit it by now though, so I think uh, we definitely overshot. Oh. Come on. Okay. Let's uh, let's disable our uh, gimbal on here. Gimbal off. Okay. Let's get rid of that. Now we're getting pretty close. All right. Just gonna focus on the side here. And as you can see. Ugh. Not much is done. Those guns are rather weak, and uh, a lot of the rounds bounced off. So let's go ahead and switch to... We should be on Sidewinder now. No, that was on None. Now we're on the Sidewinders. And I should be able to... Uh, I'm going to pull a loop. Actually, I'm going to pull a loop somewhat sideways, so the camera hopefully doesn't flip out quite as bad as it will... Uh... Oh, come on. Come on. Okay, yeah. This this plane does, does have some roll issues, it seems. Yeah, this plane hasn't been thoroughly tested, just f so you know. This plane has not been thoroughly tested or approved by any regulatory board, which is a problem, potentially. Alright, now it is rather massive, so we should be able to hopefully lock on with relative ease. Then again, it doesn't have any engines or anything, so it shouldn't be, uh, oh dear, it shouldn't be uh, giving off a lot of heat. And you know what? I, I just realized a lot of my roll control problems have to do with the fact that there's basically input lag from the game running so slowly because of the amount of parts. It's not as bad as KSP used to be, but it's bad enough to make it so I can't... Yep, alright, we've loosed four sidewinders at it. And we've definitely... wow. Holy shit. Yeah, I just tried to fire one at a piece that it momentarily locked onto. Wow, look at that. Yeah. So that thing was uh, not strutted at all. And uh, held together very loosely with the... Uh... Let's, uh... Actually, let's see if we can... Uh... Let's see if we can... Oops, wrong button. Let's see if we can get a, a radar lock. I doubt it. But it would be funny if we could, so let's, uh, no, not weapons, modules, radome, and I am stalling out quite badly. I'm in a flat spin. Okay, come on, come on, come on, pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up, and shit. I hope they fix the sound issues, but, uh, wow, look at all that debris out there. Do you want to see what happens if we try to load one of these on the runway with landing gear on it? Before I do that though, I want to show you the problem with why I can't work on it any further. This is as far aft as I can go. I can't work on the back. This is as far- oh dear god, that glitched quite badly. This is as far forward as I can go. So as you can see, I can't- the, the only reason I even was able to get the front done at all was because I'd pull off pieces, work on them over here, and then attach them back into place up front. So, yeah. Unfortunately, I can't strut anything, I can't do anything else until the mod that allows you to remove those editor restrictions comes out for 1.1. As you can see, this version has a ton of landing gear on it. Assuming it was strutted together, this version might even be able to roll into the ocean. But um, instead, this happens. 